Hello, my name is Dr. Raymond Coughlin. I'm a mathematics professor at Temple University, and I've created an internet course called Problem Solving in the Sciences. It's designed for students who are thinking of becoming a science major in college. It's a great opportunity. The job growth is predicted to be amazing in the near future, especially as the world turns to technology in, in almost every sector. And they promise to be well-stimulating and well-paid positions. But many students think science is difficult. Others enter college as science majors, but don't succeed and have to change majors. In fact, we're finding that well more than 40% of incoming science majors switch majors by their junior year. What is the primary culprit it is problem solving. If you are a history major or an English major, you have to gather, retain, and assimilate lots of information. But that skill is the same in the sciences. The big difference, the major reason why students find science difficult and why they drop out, is their lack of problem solving skills. The high school curriculum is jam packed with information in mathematics, biology, chemistry, and there's precious little time for your teachers to go over the necessary problem-solving skills you'll need to succeed. That's what this course is all about. How do you approach the intricate problems your science professors will expect you to be able to solve? From graphing functions in mathematics, to diagramming optics in physics, to balancing equations in chemistry, to predicting genetic traits in biology, problem-solving has various thought processes that we will teach you to help you become a successful scientist. We find that many students embrace the easy way out. We call it the what's the formula syndrome. When confronted with an intricate problem, they think, what's the formula? The reason they take this formulaic, one-dimensional approach is that, unfortunately, that's the way much of science is taught. Here's a bunch of problems for homework. Now plug in the right numbers. <laughs> but that's not where science resides. Oh, it, it helps to be able to plug and chug to solve rote problems. And that helps you understand elementary problems that get you started understanding a concept. But soon, college courses tackle more complex questions that require you to think and reason at a high level. This course will show you the skills you need to solve those motivating, mind-bending problems that are the very essence of science. From Newton wondering if the Earth is spinning around its axis and around the Sun, why don't we fly off? So he invented calculus. And Mendel looked in bewilderment, as did Darwin only a few years prior, at all those red and white flowered plants and wondered, why do they always come out that way, generation after generation? And he invented genetics. We will show you the methods and processes of deep reasoning that will help you solve those very exciting and meaningful problems that are the foundation of science. By the way, if you are successful as a science major and create a career in science for yourself, that's what you'll be doing, solving problems. That's what we do in science. That's precisely why we find it so energizing and invigorating. We love the fulfillment you get from solving problems.